Joseph is a former member of the FDLR, a rebel militia which includes soldiers who took part in the Rwandan genocide. When the 1994 genocide was brought to an end, the group was forced to flee Rwanda into neighboring DRC. But after a quarter of a century haunting Congo's forests, Joseph was exhausted and wanted to give up the fight. He arrived at this camp three months ago. I am among the first to have laid down arms voluntarily. I wanted to promote peace in the Great Lakes region, especially in Congo and Rwanda. Joseph is one of over 1,500 former FDLR fighters who returned to Rwanda in November 2018 after Congo refused to allow them to stay any longer. He was happy to come home, but sad that it was not the result of dialogue between the Rwandan government and opposition groups. From this dialogue, they should have found proper return conditions, dignified and secure. But we then learned that this dialogue did not happen because Rwanda did not judge it necessary to participate in or organize this dialogue. In this camp in Mutubo, 100 kilometers northwest of the capital Kigali, the former rebels are learning how to reintegrate into society. They receive civic education classes aimed at combating the bloody ideologies that led to the genocide. 47-year-old ex-FDLR fighter Focus Puringi Yamana is training to be a tailor. He urges his former FDLR comrades still fighting in the bush to come back home. They should come back to the country to work for their own development. They are only wasting time and it will do them no good. Rwanda's Demobilization and Reintegration Commission, which runs the Matubo camp, has handled 11,000 fighters from rebel forces since 1997. Each group spends three months in the camp before they can return to families and homes they left decades before. They are then also issued identity papers and a one-off payment of $66 to start their new lives.